Hello my dear students and welcome to Zenith Academy Online. My name is Shagufta Jaipuri and today we are going to talk about a very important topic spleen and its functions. So we are talking in detail about spleen. Now this video lesson is also a part of ICSC class 10 biology chapter the circulatory system. So this is part 11 of the video lesson series the circulatory system. And in this, we'll be talking about spleen and its functions. So let's go ahead. Now children, venting spleen. You must have heard of this phrase, venting spleen. This phrase, venting spleen means letting out the anger, the frustration. So this, this term we use in English. So this is a phrase which is used to show that a person is letting out its frustration. It's, let, it's venting the spleen out. So it's very interesting. So not referring to the body parts itself, but as a way to describing to describe letting out anger or frustration. The word spleen has come to be used metamorphically as a synonym for anger. This is because in medieval times, the spleen was thought to be the literal physical source of hot temper. People thought that venting their spleens would remove the excess anger. Thank God that now we know a lot more about spleen. So let us know what spleen is actually scientifically. So you can see the diagram of the spleen here. You can see this is the spleen. Just check out its location because this is very frequently asked in your board exams, the location of spleen. Okay. So it is a large lymphatic organ. What is spleen? It is a large lymphatic organ. The size of the spleen, spleen is about the size of the clenched fist. The color is reddish brown. You can see from the diagram, the color is reddish brown and the location, it is situated in the abdomen. You have to be very specific, very clear when you're writing the location. You have to write exactly this, that it is situated in the abdomen, behind the stomach and above the left kidney. You can see it's behind the stomach in the abdomen and above the left kidney. So you have to be very, very clear about the location. Now we know that spleen has nothing to do with anger. Spleen is a lymphatic organ and it is reddish brown in color, situated in the abdomen, behind the stomach and above the kidney. Now, let us also study about the functions of spleen. So our spleen is often on the front lines of our body and it is a busy organ, especially considering its small size. So here I have given very special headings to the functions so that it becomes easier for you to remember the functions. The first is quality control cell. Okay. So spleen's main function is to act as a filter for our body. So the first function is basically filtering. Okay. So spleen's main function is to act as a filter for our blood. It removes old or damaged red blood cells. Okay. So now when blood flows into our spleen, our spleen performs quality control. So there's a quality check. That is why I've named this function as quality control cell. So it acts like a quality control cell. What does it do? It restricts few cells and it allows some of them. It provides a quality control. So healthy blood cells simply pass through the spleen and continue to circulate throughout your bloodstream. But the blood cells that can't pass the test, the test of this quality control, that is they might be old, they might be worn out, there must be some defect. So they will be broken down in your spleen by macrophages. We have learned about macrophages in our WBC chapter already. So what do they macrophages, what do these macrophages do? They kill the bacteria, they kill the worn out, RBCs and all. Okay, so the blood has to pass through this filter. They have to pass the quality control check. Okay, and only health it allows the healthy blood cells to pass through them and go into the circulation, whereas it stops the other, it stops the old or damaged blood cells 
and what does it do? It breaks them down in the spleen by macrophages. So that was the first function of filter. Second, it is always economical. How is it economical? A spleen saves any useful components from the old cells. It does not just simply kill the old cells, but it is very economical. It will save what it is, what is required, what is precious. So a spleen saves any useful components from the old cells, such as iron. So we know iron is very important component. So iron is stored. Okay, it stores iron and eventually returns the iron to our bone marrow where the hemoglobin is made. We have already read this in the previous videos of the circulatory system that how hemoglobin is made in the marrow by using iron. Right? So, it is very economical. It does not waste anything. So, even if there are old cells, okay, it the spleen takes out those useful components from the old cells such as iron and it is stored there and eventually it is returned to the bone marrow where the hemoglobin is made. Now let's go to the next function, storing blood. It helps in storage of blood. So blood vessels in human spleens are able to get wider or narrower depending on our body's need. So according to the needs of our body when we require more blood or less blood at that time the vessels in the human spleen are able to get wider or narrower. So when vessels are expanded, vessels expand, our spleen can actually hold up to a cup of reserved blood. It can hold a lot of blood when it expands. If for any reason we need some extra blood, for example, if trauma causes you to lose blood, okay, there's some accident and you lose excess blood and then the spleen can respond by releasing that reserved blood back into your system so that it can release the blood that it has stored by expanding. So that is how it helps in storing of blood. The next function and very important function is fighting infection. So spleen also plays an important part in our immune system, which helps our body fight infection. So just as it detects faulty red blood cells, we saw that it acted as a quality control and it detects faulty red blood cells. In the same way, our spleen can pick out any unwelcome microorganisms like bacteria or viruses in our blood. So from anywhere, if some bacteria or viruses has entered our blood, at that time, spleen comes into action and it can pick out these microorganisms. It produces an army, an army of lymphocytes. So when any invaders is de detected in our bloodstream, like bacteria or viruses is detected, then our spleen, along with our lymph nodes, jumps to take action and creates an army of defender cells and these defender cells are what lymphocytes these lymphocytes are a type of white blood cells that produces antibodies we have already done this in wbc so majorly these are the five main functions filters blood it acts as a blood reservoir so I told you in hemorrhage, whenever there is excess loss of blood or physical or emotional stress or maybe carbon monoxide poisoning, at those times, the spleen releases the stored blood. That is why it acts as a blood reservoir. Then it produces lymphocytes, the army of lymphocytes. It produces RBCs in an embryo. So when we were doing this video of RBC, in that I have explained you that where is the RBC formed for an embryo? It is formed in the spleen. So it produces RBC in an embryo and it destroys worn out RBC. And this function is shared with the liver. Liver also does the same thing. So this shares this function. So these five functions of filtering blood, acting as a blood reservoir, producing lymphocytes, producing RBCs in an embryo and also destroying worn out RBCs are the major functions of spleen and you should remember them very very well. So this was all about spleen and its functions. I hope you liked the video. It was very much in detail. So if you have liked the video, give it a thumbs up and write in the comment box. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, do it right away and tap on the bell icon so that you can keep on getting the next videos of the chapter and also all the other chapters. So keep the learning on. Thank you.